you just I let got myself to in. It's Sorry. time to break. You ready for the uh, celebration? Like coming to your house feels like an event because you're oh, you. Thank you. Thanks Hi, for having welcome. me. Welcome. Right down here. Fancy. <laughs> I love. Just little snacks. Pour us some wine. Have a seat. I'm going to closer. I am serving you Look here. Look at this waterfall like, bar oh, top. This little waterfall bar top, little glass so of wine. To Pioneer Day. To Pioneer Day. Day. What a fun you event. Could use a drink after that, that event. That was wild. Mm. When did it go left? Like when Lisa kicked Monica off her wagon? Wagon game. <laughs> the minute we started the wagon game. Lisa, who are you kicking off your wagon train? The one that's the nastiest to women. So Monica, you would have to go. I think it set her off. It's so, it was like, she just came in hot again with the insults. Okay, okay, okay. You okay, are okay. so nasty on the inside. You are so ugly. And then like at some moment, she just completely shut down and it was weird. I'm starting to realize that you can never really count on what you're gonna get with Monica. She could be up and happy and charming and fun. That's got some girth, like, <laughs> holy crap. And then angry and vicious and mean. Andy, you lift up your ass, so stay there. And then also just detached and vacant. I need Monica to find her energy. <laughs> <sighs> and as much as I don't want it to, it kind of reminds me of Jen. Listen, wait, wait, Jen, wait. Just okay, wait, don't. Okay, take right it, yeah, take a breath. <laughs> I'm drawn like a moth to the flame with these personality types. I've been burned, and I want to learn from my history and not make the same mistakes again. I don't, I can't figure her out, and I really, really like her, and so I don't understand when it seems like I can't get through to her. Like, I've kind of jumped in like I always do, like head first. Like, yeah. I love you so much. I know, I know, that's who you are. Best friend. And then I planned this trip with her, which is like a big deal. I've never been to Bermuda. I want it to be a fun trip. I don't feel like trashing the trip or like throwing it away, but I'm worried that like, I don't want Pioneer Day part two to happen in Bermuda. Yeah. That's her pattern is like, she kind of comes in hot and then she feels bad or embarrassed and apologizes. Like, I think we need to go on the trip, True. but I think you need to call her before we go, just work through it, talk to her. Talk and to like one on one. Yeah. I'm sure I'm gonna see her at Meredith's jewelry event. The one that I'm not invited to, that I've heard all about, everyone's invited except me, which is fine. Let me know how it goes. Like, I'm really curious to yeah. see how. Well, the trip is hanging in the balance, truly. Awkward. Sometimes I feel like, does therapy help or make it worse? Both. It makes it worse for the short term, I think. When we when we are talking about finances and bills and yeah. like how I handle all that, and then he's like, "All right, don't have that conversation." Like he shut you down. He shut me down. It's almost like is the therapist stirring the pot or helping us? Like, where are you at? Do you feel like it's I don't helping? Know, like, I like I still my favorite thing is when we talk it through with other couples, like even Meredith and Seth. After I stopped working, I realized she's going through her own trauma, and part of that is like isolating me. Two drowning people can't save each other and just it. pull each other down. And then it didn't hurt that Seth had my back on most things. <laughs> So you're looking for validation. <laughs> no. I just got a really bad message. What? Sherry's about and being intubated. No. I mean, I was with her on Monday, Jay, and she couldn't even get off the couch. I have known Sherry since I was 23 years old, and she's been to all the major events in my life. No, you're gonna make me yeah. all tired. I'm so excited Aww. for you. Sherry, you have done yourself, darling. Sherry, you look amazing. 
She's been fighting cancer. It's the most helpless feeling to know that my friend is suffering and I can't do anything about it. And I have no idea how to cope with that. I'm trying not to cry, Jay, but I'm worried. I think I'm like we're losing her. Yeah. Sorry. And on Monday when I sat with her, like that's what we talked about was like how she knows death is here. <sighs> Sick to my stomach. My best friend is dying of cancer. Like when you really like take a look around and see like the bigger picture, like us just not seeing eye to eye, like is it really that bad of a thing? It definitely seems like our problems are pretty trivial. Well, I think as long as we both still want to be married, then we're winning. I've been married 14 years now. And we've come so far working through communication breakdowns, working through how is my trauma bled into the marriage. We've been working on so many things, but like knowing that each other are still in it makes it easier to work for it. If you're willing to fight, then you can get through anything. So we're both still fighting, right? I think so. I'm still fighting. <laughs>